So last year when I was hanging around the barred owl's nest that you've seen some pictures and video from here, there was a lot of downtime where nothing was happening. And during that downtime, I tried to make the most of it with uh, songbirds and in particular, this Anna's hummingbird. So I thought I'd come up with a few little facts or a little history on them and a little information on them that maybe you guys would enjoy. The Anna's hummingbird was named after the Duchess of Rivoli, Anna Messina, who was married to amateur ornithologist Francois Victor Messina. They're native to western coastal regions of North America. In the early 20th century, they bred only in California. But the transplanting of flowering ornamentals along the coast helped expand their nectar and nesting sites, which in turn helped expand their breeding range. As a result, their populations have increased about 2% per year between 1966 and 2014. These days, they can be found as far north as Canada and even into the very southern reaches of Alaska. These petite birds are only around 4 inches long and weigh about 5 grams, or about as much as a nickel. They might be small, but they'll fiercely defend their territory, typically by perching on a prominent branch or twig in their quote-unquote turf, where they scan the surrounding area for intruders trying to invade their flower patch, which is what you see in most of this footage. Unlike most North American hummingbirds, the Anna's either don't migrate or migrate very short distances to better feeding grounds. Anna's hummingbirds eat nectar from many flowering plants. This particular bird was mostly feeding on salmonberry nectar. They also eat a wide array of insects from leaves, crevices, stream banks, or caught in spider webs and taken from flowers. I hope you enjoyed this small overview about these wonderful little birds. If you'd like to learn more about them, there's a link in the description below to their page on the Cornell Lab of Ornithology's website. 